I let the audio jump a little bit. About three. Yeah. Does that look about the right consistency? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Orange Wires Garage for episode two of our 2004 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road. This truck's come a long ways already. We've got almost all of the front stripped off of this thing. It's looking really good. So we're gonna go ahead and get this condenser off and start getting the radiator support off today. So hopefully we can get all that done, get everything ready. And then maybe we can just take an assessment, maybe take a test fit. We've got some parts coming in. We're super excited. So that's enough talking. Let's get to work. Just like that, we got the radiator support all drilled out. There was only 24 spot wells total. We had 12 on that side and 12 on that side, and it popped right off just as easy as pie, which gave us full access to the front of this engine. And since we don't know the history of this truck, we're gonna go ahead and change out the timing belt. So it is the very next day here, and we're gonna take perfect advantage of all the access that we got, we got a new timing belt kit with a new water pump and all the idlers and the new belt, just the whole complete kit. So we're gonna get the whole front off of this motor, get down to that timing belt, get it all taken off, put the new one on, get it put back together. It's gonna make this truck last a long, long time. So let's get the belt off, let's get everything off the front and let's get it done. clearly see right there that we absolutely made the right call here. That water pump was turned by the timing belt and it was leaking, leaking. So we were just asking for some trouble. We didn't go ahead and change it. So we made the right call. Let's get that old one off. We'll get the new one on and it'll be perfect. Just as good as new. This belt kind of cheated us. It didn't have the marks, but you see we're on zero. That cam's dead on the mark. That cam's dead on the mark. So 
so she is ready to go back to get her. That went really well. We only spent a couple of hours. We got the timing belt all put on. Everything is all put back together. We just got to get the accessory belts in. But I think we'll go ahead and fire it up and see how we did. Fingers crossed. Always the first time after a timing belt. Always a little bit nervous, but I think it'll be fine. Let's fire it up and let's check it out. Well, that little 3.4 sounds really, really good with the timing belt. Everything went together just like it was supposed to. I'm glad we caught that water pump. So now we know the timing belt's good, the water pump's good. This truck is gonna be good for a long, long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some of this stuff back together because we have got the radiator support. So we might give a test fit on the radiator support and maybe the hood and put the fenders back on and see what we got get ready to paint this thing and put it back together and get it back on the road. That turned out really nice. We got a good initial test fit. We had a big dent right in the middle of this hood. So went ahead and fixed all that up. A little bit of glaze and then we just used the U-Pole spray can primer. It'll be good enough just for the middle of this hood. A little guide coat on there. So really liking the way that the radiator support is everything is lining up. So I think what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and bring out the welder. We'll get everything welded up, mix up some paint paint the underside of this hood and paint this radiator support. It's gonna be a great day. We're gonna get a lot done. So let's stop talking and let's start working.
I'm really pretty happy with the way that this radiator support turned out. It looks really, really good. The underside of the hood turned out really good. So why don't we just keep moving forward? So let's go ahead and get the outside of this hood I'll wet sand it down and see how it matches because this paint job is going to look really good on this 2004. Can't wait to start putting it back together. So why don't we stop talking, start sanding this hood, get some paint on it, and see what it looks like. Alrighty guys, and just like that, we spent a little bit of time getting this hood painted and we decided to paint it in the yard. I know you're thinking, man, y'all always paint at the booth, but we just didn't want to take it to the booth. This truck is just, you know, it's really super nice and we wanted to get it done and we didn't have time to get to the booth. So we painted it in the yard and we couldn't be happier with the way that it turned out. It is so slick. It's really, really amazes me that we got such a good result here in the yard. So we went ahead and stuck it back on because we wanted to see how it looks and you're gonna have to wait to the next video to see if it matches or not. But you know what? We're gonna keep working on this thing. We appreciate each and every one of you stopping by. A special thanks to all the subscribers. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Orange Wires Garage. 
We always post there before YouTube. If you like content like this and you like this old truck, drop us a like. It really helps us out. We'll catch you next time. We're out. <laughs>